June Gray, at one point in her life, was an average girl living an average life with her loving family. However, things went sideways and went unexpected when Jean was 10 years old. She discovered her ability by the way she was playing with a friend at the time, Anna Richardson, when Anna was hit by a car. The motion she felt as she held her dying, it awakened her telepathic powers and she experienced Anna's own emotions as she died. And that was very traumatic. She went seeking help from a psychiatrist, but recommended to her parents that they consult a colleague of his, Professor Charles Xavier. That's why she's one of the founding members of the X-Men, one of the main X-Men people. When you think of X-Men, you think of Jean Grey. She's a mutant with telepathic ability. Professor X explained to G, but not to her parents, that she was a mutant. And he trained her in secret several years, along with creating psychic barriers in her mind, preventing her from using telepathic powers until she had matured more. Eventually, she was recruited to join the X-Men and the code name Marvel Girl at the time. Everybody usually gives her all the respect thanks to the Phoenix Force, but this video in particular will be Jean Grey. Feats of her much less focus on the Phoenix Force stuff, but let's get it. Basically, this feat run would be just her raw mutant ability, not the Phoenix Force possessing her, even though they are known by a lot of people to be one and the same, etc. She's pretty strong with her abilities without the Phoenix. No outside help in this feat run. Let's get it. But before I get right into it, thanks a lot to all that have donated to the channel. I really appreciate it. Her outfit is pretty dope though, I'm not gonna lie, Marvel girl. <laughs> For the most part, when you think of Jean Grey, you're thinking of Phoenix Force. Well, this is just to show you how strong her psychic abilities and stuff are without the Phoenix Force. Fun, right? She can topple over a T-Rex with her blast power, direct missiles out of a sea, wraps up these goons in a giant canvas, blasts through a wall, holds the antenna of an Empire State Building, deflects attacks from Iceman, another powerful X-Men member, holds back Cyclops' optic vision even without the Phoenix Force. It kind of shows her level of telepathic raw power. Remember Cyclops' blast power when his glasses are just out of control have been stated to have the force to rip up a small planet in half. So Jean Grey doing this is actually impressive. She can pick up dinosaurs, holds together all of this, grapple hooks, stuff with her telekinesis, like literally using her telekinesis like a grappling hook, kind of epic. Keeps the craft together as it falls back to Earth, deflects explosions, splits water, she's about to crash into, she can literally move mountains, literally stated right here, this backs up her feats that I'm going to show you in a bit. She can amplify other psionic beings, like amplifying the psychic power of Cable, enabling him to restructure his bionic flesh bionic arm into flesh makes sense like how the heck does that work your binary arm into flesh reinforces bobby's ice literally grab a plane she does this to the thing with some chains showing that she's up there with the heavy heavy hitters because if she wasn't he would just instantly break out of these chains does this to a large sheet of ice with her blast power there was this falling building underwater stops it the psionic ability literally been stated again to be able to move mountains she overpowered Hope's telekinesis this one time. With her telekinesis, picking up Hank and stuff, it's funny stuff. Moving objects and everything with her mind, books. Same with being able to lift up soldiers, light work. Removes blindfold from her eyes with a telekinesis and uses the knife to free herself. Telekinesis. Lifts top of a jar without disturbing it. Pushes Professor X back and closes the door. There was about to be a misstep, but she covered it with a log so they won't misstep. She's kind enough to put Professor X back in her wheelchair. Thanks a lot, Jean. Literally holds Quicksilver telekinetically and swirls him mid-air. In a way, she will be a nightmare to fight against a speech that has no flight ability. Like, how would you counter this? Well, he might just make an air current to blow her back or something or, or something like that. They've been able to thread like that. Disassembles and reassembles a rifle. This is fun stuff. Even opens Cyclops' visors. She can fly thanks to telekinesis. Straight up flight without the Phoenix. And she lifted an electrified fence. Stopped the fireball, countering it from hitting others. Why would you use a lock on somebody that has telekinesis? She can literally go inside the lock and make it open. She placed explosive charges. Very convenient for the battlefield. She's the one that kept Wolverine's body together after it was messed up by Magneto. Yeah, Magneto did this to his metal. Yeah. Cuts a lemon and pours her and Xavier a cup of water with ice just casual splice of life fun stuff she stopped nano machines from assembling might i add i must say that it was a whole bunch if i would say so myself respect her she dismantled this bioelectric field something only her could do it was linked on a cellular level with the x-men by the way like how the heck would you do this without her she removed a nanite from storm's brain thanks a lot Jean Grey. She attempted to slow air molecules, by the way. She was getting assaulted mentally, but she made the oxygen molecules around Cassandra Nova go faster. Stated here. <laughs> Impressive, right? Battle feet. Plenty of battles with the X-Men and Adventures. Oh yeah, she had plenty of occasions of flying, by the way. Even flying with others. She even flew carrying the X-Men a helicopter. Y'all thought I was playing during these battle feats. Literally all of this. 
is being controlled by her, carrying multiple citizens, carrying a crap ton of people. She could do weird stuff like stopping a camera from functioning. When she's in other people's bodies, other people like Emma, for example, can do powers they usually couldn't do. Like Emma being able to do telekinetic stuff, telekinetic stuff in mind entering is kind of linked even though one you literally lift physical stuff up in the real world but other one you can go in people's brain i guess but she yeah she had telekinesis inside of emma frost's body they even go as far as to say frost powers are nothing like this another overpowered being she was able to help nate close rifts in reality with her psionic abilities she breaks out of a cage that has energy fighting her every time she tries to use energy to break out like energy feedback if you try to psychic attack your way out, she still got through it. Please remember that moving a mountain is no easy feat because mountains can weigh up to billions of tons, which means Jean Grey as a mega low ball bear minimal with no Phoenix Force can blast with at least billions of tons of force. She can even stop your blood flow, knock you out. She ragdolled saber tooth in this occasion. It's just a bad matchup. You can't really get near her with his power set. It literally stated here, sorry for telekinetically shutting down gauntlet impressive feats like completely shutting down iron man well not completely shutting him down by herself it was like oh she, she held him in place with telekinesis then they blasted him then shot him out the air stuff like that cyclops mobilizes spider-man with her psionic abilities kind of just hold, held him to where he can move and at plenty of occasions fighting apocalypse so here's the thing about apocalypse she threw apocalypse around quite a bit here which is epic she likes to shatter armor tore apart apocalypse's armor in this occasion disassembles gear and clothes pulls out the insides like doing this to this being psionically corrupting te nanotechnology please note that they nickname her as phoenix sometimes that doesn't mean she's using the phoenix all the time that's one of the reasons why people will kind of link her and the phoenix together you know they're highly close psionically uses this big old ice hand to punch ymir like that you get an idea of her power in a battle feat with cassandra nova look at the area of effect that is done from the environment with their clash has enough blast power to blast back sentinels she says she's getting stronger my telekinetic power is a lot stronger now than it was then she blasts two sentinels this one time she even does cool stuff like try to fuse the sentinels computer brain she's known to blast for extremely far distances one of her most impressive battle fix that's spectrum captain marvel by the way or whatever you want to call her gene blasted back the avengers this one time including namor and i'd like to add Hercules as well with her telekinetic blast power. Can you respect that? It's just made him lose his footing. I'm not trying to overhype nothing, but it's still cool. Meanwhile, she was asleep doing all of this crap, literally recovering. The fact that Hercules struggled to get his footing and Namor is usually his best in the freaking water, might I add, and it was still a struggle. They even describe it as the crushing force. Namor stated crushing force. He said, how much more must I be humble? Do I even really have to get on why doing this to Namor is impressive? He's fighting Hulk plenty of occasions, underwater, showing his true power. This is without the Phoenix guy, she's this strong, so she technically should be a planet buster ranges already. Not only do I have a Namor video explaining this stuff in more depth, I have a Hercules video, and I pretty much show in all my Marvel videos that planet shattering levels of raw power or raw force isn't really a big deal, so her blast power is in the planet levels, way past planet levels, just from these feats right here. Now, and when it comes to raw strength and raw power in general, it's up for debate if she's up there with Colossus, but he, he's kind of a bad matchup for her because it's kind of hard for Colossus to close the distance against her. Battle feet. He can, she can literally pick him up like she did here and then go in his head. His resistance to mind stuff isn't as great. Blast power against Iron Man. Hit Storm in the solar plexus. Ouch. She can use her psionic blast power in defense, so you can kind of get further proof on her blast power by the shields or how durable these shields can withstand. Like the fact she screened herself from harmful radiation. Pretty good elemental resistance, wouldn't you say? But in this occasion, it was because the phoenix getting to her and stuff, and she did get overwhelmed eventually, though. Her telekinesis can't protect her against explosions. She can fly into space thanks to this. It's implied that she's massively faster than light because they are kind of imply that she can enter hyperspace. They call her Phoenix here. You know, they call her the Phoenix a lot. So, you know. Also, she was able to shield herself against Binary's energy on top of all of this. Binary was going berserk at this one moment. You know, Binary star level being Captain Marvel, you know, being that in her base that can blast away stars. Jean Grey was able to shield herself from all of this. Why is this impressive? Because look what they were saying about Binary at this state. 
It states here, my projections confirm that if the star at binary's position isn't stabilized, it's going to go supernova prematurely. Like binary is literally about to cause a star to explode. Jean Grey has to stop this much force from being produced. It states here, have to encase binary in a wide psionic field while I tap into her mind and try to persuade her to back down, stuff like that. Jean Grey's able to basically shield herself without the Phoenix from something that was about to blow up a star nearby. Do I have to remind you how strong Carol Davis Captain Marvel is? This is the same Captain Marvel in her base that can shoot photon blasts that melt holes in stars. The binary states even above this. She was literally stated on panel about to collapse a star. Jean had to shield herself from this amount of power and limit her. For her to be able to use these same shields she used in psionic blasts, that means she should be able to blast with a force way past a star thanks to her shielding being this powerful. It only makes sense. In this same panel with Carol, Jean Grey is shielding from, they even state the very fabric of space distorts around her. More lore for you right here for the same white hole star which she created some months ago to save the earth reached a lot of ridiculous cosmic stuff gene gray is this powerful if you're still skeptical how about black hole level beings like abomination that be fighting the hulk all the time as a low ball she was still able to block his punch with or her telekinetic shielding the same with black bolts punch another powerhouse tier she seems to be chilling doing this as well she even shielded the x-men from a heel falling on them before which is pure awesomeness she even shielded scott from black bolts blast before black bolt was actually shooting energy projection at him obviously she can deflect bullets blocking attacks from rogue another powerhouse video i got about her deflect archangel's knives protects folks while they're underwater protects the x-men from legion's huge explosion like that crazy overpowered being legion she's shielding on too many occasions she has mind hacks like she's the reason why the hulk was able to get this power up against onslaught to even be able to reach a higher power level she can telekinetically turn off branner off like in this occasion she's listened to feelings around the world before she's touched billions of minds with the amplification mind device with cerebro very powerful device they stated she's as powerful as a telepath as cassandra nova another psionic being like psylocke she gives psylocke the power to break legion's control over the multiple men for example working together two powerful x-men beings she was able to help every mind on the planet have some type of telepathic resistance talk about being a helpful asset all these psionic beings that working together as you can see the linked psionic transmitter like tell me that isn't convenient this is a common thing x-man does linking each other's minds together in battle to work together perfect teamwork synchronization she can do a lot of similar feats like this not going to show every feat like this but she can sense people in her vicinity like sensing emma frost on the ground and feeling somebody trapped in a hurricane she's good at mental illusions as well something all telepaths can do making it look like the x-men are fighting themselves she made it look like she has wolverine's claws psionic abilities even though she really doesn't have them but that's a fun thing about psionic abilities mental plane allows her to relive past memories wouldn't that be something awesome like you have a beautiful memory with your girl you can relive it something that would be very cool in real life to have and she can full bone possess people like she can just consciously go in you and just control you all the way and when you're a telepath learning is a piece of cake memory sharing like literally absorbing piloting skills giving crash courses on their mutant powers just jamming all that information in you at once like straight on memory dumping to bring people up to speed is just a common thing with telepaths don't have to show every single feat of this you get the idea a lot of beings' power is linked to them mentally she was able to turn off beings power by like just going inside of you juggernaut is literally made to fight off psionic beings she was able to hurt juggernaut through it showing her strong telepathic abilities she's helpful in breaking through mental barriers placed by on slot it's all in your mind she even got in a duel in the psychic plane with psylocke like mental battle like this are very satisfying as xavier battles the shadow king like i showed in my professor x video she came as backup with the x-man so gene gray does compliment professor x quite a bit with the help of professor x and cyclops they actually was able to kill the juggernaut but keep in mind that juggernaut is known to be vulnerable to mental attacks but later on he gets more invulnerable to this you know what i'm saying I mean, that's like one of his weaknesses she prevented reed from using his stretchy powers and she got like some power notification type stuff she's knocked out cyclops before no doubt has took it down psylocke before got a video about her as well takes down flaming skull dude takes down flaming skull dude knocks out the freaking hulk in this occasion press of psionic abilities hulk is one of the hardest people to get in their head and beat him up from the inside thanks to his multi-personality disorder and just strong willpower and etc a very stubborn beast there's no surprise here that she can psionically mask her present just common stuff and of course being a psionic being of course she has resistance to other psionic beings like this one time this being ogan tried to possess her she literally kicked him out of her body these people ought to know better she even resisted other beings illusions and even dispelled the illusions 
Yep, she's the ultimate counter to psionicness. She literally made Sabretooth shut up. Like, it's that bad. <laughs> Stops a bloodthirsty mob of people and just makes them stop. Consistently putting folks to sleep. Puts a whole crowd to sleep. Y'all need to go to bed. Don't be attacking me. She exorcists Apocalypse from Scott. Like literally pulling them out. Unfusing each other with one another. Tell me that isn't. Like look at this design. Like we gotta pull y'all apart. Sala, Professor X, Jean Grey, and etc. were in space. They was able to control seven people from far away, <laughs> even though they're not in the near vicinity. She can do similar stuff like Professor X, like shutting off nerve endings. So yeah, nervous system manipulation, I would say. All that mental stuff all goes hand in hand because the whole reason your body functions is because of your mind. All that stuff makes you function, even if it's unconsciously. It's hard to imagine Jean Grey doing anything that's not psionic. Like her doing physical stuff, like physically fighting. Very rarely does she decide to pull out the hands, like in this occasion. Physically punches out this guy. This is a fun sight to see like clobbering folks with her hand-to-hand -hand combat physicals is not her attribute like she had a hard time breaking off her dress and stuff like that just letting you know like other super soldiers here can do that type of stuff easily it is implied that she can react to bullets though when it comes to reaction speed like grabbing spider right here before he can react with like a little psionic grabble or whatever and heck she even caught a sniper bullet like you see that caught it caught it right before it hit xavier save cyclops from this fake thor's hammer this one time here's some more lore on Jean gray omega level mutant Here's some right intent for her, one of the most powerful telepaths on the planet, and even telekinetics. They even stay here. Telepathy, telekinesis, no problem. They called her on Omega level telepath here. They stayed here. Professor and I are two of the most powerful telepaths on Earth. Yet again, Jean Grey, arguably the most powerful telepath on the planet. Omega level telepath again. Jean Grey is one of the most attuned telepaths the world has ever known. This is what he's called a phoenix. You know, her and phoenix one and the same. At present, she is the most powerful PSI talent on the planet. A telekinetic so strong to her, the disarmament of a knife would it, but a mental flick of her finger, known as Phoenix, and she is the most powerful PSI talent on the planet. Guidebook information shows her abilities. It's funny, even when I'm trying to make a feat run about her not being the Phoenix, they still have to mention Phoenix in pretty much everything. Even as a teen, her and the Phoenix Force lore was closely related to one another, but even then she had some decent mind abilities, even as a teenage Jean Grey. For example, being able to put Wolverine to sleep, telekinesis is strong enough to stop a ship from sinking. But yeah, she's still strong as a team. She can shield from Wolverine, block Venom, shields against explosions and bullets. Wanda, Thor, and Rogue flying with her blast power to the Kraken and kills it with Namor's trident. You can literally see the blast power she has fighting these big creatures to really further add on top of how strong she actually is. This is satisfying. This symbols a gun. Ben's energy blast, like literally bending them. She can fire guns at the same time because she can just pick them up and just shoot them normally. The blob. She can even drive using telekinesis. Doesn't even have to put her hand on the steering wheel. It's like being able to protect herself against the Phoenix Force as a teen. I mean, she put Karnak in a mental loop before talking about torture. They've had in this conversation for a long time. Dang, that's savage. Yeah, she got perception alteration like appearing in beach clothes. She can literally make the symbiotes think they're hearing a psionic attack. Like it's all in your mind, right? It even states here, what sound? Don't hear anything. Jean is making them hear it because that's their weakness. She overpowered Doom's mind control. This stuff as a team. You can't be a psionic being without having energy constructs. Jean able to make energy constructs. Like spikes on this occasion. I love when psionic beings do this. Psylocke does this as well, but Jean can do them as well with hammers, psionic clubs, making an axe, and heck, even Wolverine's claws. Like, why not? Chains and shurikens. Using the action action, chopping. This sword and shield can protect against Phoenix fire. Aids Cyclops by making like telekinetic bumpers, like so he can bounce everywhere, like that. She can still lift cars over her head, light stuff. Literally holds the blob in the air with psionic ability. Does this to a T Rex and throws it in the water. Let's talk about her physicals as a teen, like dodging gunfire, showing her fighting speed still. Like how she dodged bullets bouncing off the blob. In this occasion, like on some Matrix stuff. Funny. Does this to Mystique with a kick telekinetic punch like she could like literally use telekinetic punches like reroute telekinetic attacks send this creature for the heels like you see the psionic attack to make matters worse gene gray during the team days it's funny how all the team stuff has kind of like better feats because it kind of happened more recently than some of the older comics you know what i mean comics time travel so that's why this teen version of gene has all these feats but also which is kind of backs up why she's a powerhouse tier even without the phoenix she can literally psionic 
energy siphon. Let me say that again. Psionic siphoning. We all have this energy, even though we all don't have telepathy. It's that energy she can use against you. Like stated here, I'm taking everyone's psychic energy and sending it back out at them. Kind of amping herself up. During this occasion, during this psionic siphoning, she clashed with the godlike being known as Gladiator, who is concrete in the black hole level, powerhouses Thor, Herculean Tear, and Marvel. You can literally see her looking powered up here. Blasting Gladiator, heck, even like he's making them drip blood, straight full-blown blast power, heck, even clashing with Gladiator in a fit of rage because she hates her future of, of possibly coming to Phoenix one day. You see Gladiator fall. I shouldn't have to mention what Gladiator has done and why this is impressive. Gladiator has slugged it out with Phoenix Force avatars. Heck, even Cyclops when he was possessed by the Phoenix Force. Gladiator can tear apart black holes with his bare hands. Gladiator is strong enough to wrestle planets from their orbits and collapse stars with his bare hands. Well, basically, black hole level is like a way of me being minimalistic and not trying to overhype the characters. But this is kind of like just a low ball, just kind of give you an idea. Black holes can be three to ten solar masses and even supermassive ones can be millions or billions of solar masses. Oh, so it's a good implication that Dream Gray is millions or even billions of times past solar system sharing levels of power of raw telekinetic power. If I want to medium ball them, low balling solar system, star shattering type of characters. You know, that's just the standard for Marvel. Star level in Marvel is no big deal. Jean Gray is no exception to this, evidently. Hard to imagine her without the phoenix blasting apart a star right at a too much evidence of it more implication of her power she says i'm no phoenix i never am punches galactus and knocks him over by doing the energy siphoning it states his galactus is siphoning the energy out of her this is what she does her level of telekinetic blast power she's able to stop stuff on the spot that's coming towards her like these shards psionic ability has anybody ever noticed even when she's not possessed with the phoenix force she makes her psionic energy in a construct of a bird steel i find that very intriguing by the way the reason why she got so good with this psionic construct creation was her training with psylocke one of my favorites in the psionic genre meditation improvements here and there and this is what i showed you earlier thanks to her training with psylocke even they stated she manifests her psychic power as the phoenix even when she's not possessed by the phoenix it's kind of like her thing kind of like purplish purple pink type of look when she does this definitely a top tier telepath in marvel Jean gray even manages to ascend her mortal flesh and become like a being of pure energy a being of pure psionic energy this look right here kind of reminds me of it flaming hair purple look when I say transcending her body with psionic energy, being pure psionic energy, I wasn't playing. She was able to resist the control of poison and things like that and reconstitute her body from that. See what I mean? Look at that. Epic incarnate. Yeah, this is when they would possess like symbiotes and stuff, mind control type stuff. It literally appears she's busting out of this shell. Like you see her energy construct of her just like a psionic being. Literally caused all of them to die. They're screaming. Venom's team made it to the poison ship. That's where Jean Grey is tearing them apart, collapsing on themselves. It's funny that she was she busted out as like just being nothing but purple, then she kind of reconstitutes her body back to normal. She even goes as far as saying, I was gone, my body was gone, just my mind remained. She literally put herself back together. That's like hard, how do you kill her like that? You can kill her, but her psionic presence might still be existing without the Phoenix Force. Even she doubts if she's human after such a feat. She became a being of pure psionic energy, reconstituted her physical body from nothing, even though her physical body was literally gone. Marvel really wanted to show how strong Phoenix could be without the Phoenix Force having all of her feet, showing that she's kind of ridiculous psionic being, regardless if the Phoenix is possessing her or not. But obviously, the Phoenix is still above this, but you know, White Phoenix of the Crown stuff is crazy. Yeah, she's still a powerhouse tier with the heaviest hitters in Marvel. This panel right here shows it best. Like you can literally see her busting out of it. Like that's impressive. But respect Jean Grey guys. Hope you guys learned something new. Without the Phoenix Force, she's an absolute monster. She can become a being of pure psionic energy. She's fought the powerhouses too many occasions. It's very haxy with going in your mind. If you don't have mental resistance, she will be a nightmare for you. Even if you do have immunity to mental resistance, she can still blast or physically hurt you with crazy blast power, telekinesis type stuff. For example, Clash with Gladiator and you already know what gladiator can do got a video about gladiator same with blasting back Her hercules and namor while she was in a cocoon knocked out not even really paying attention showing her psionic abilities even when she's not connected to the phoenix she still makes her psionic manifestations look like a bird but pink you can tell it's not the phoenix because it's not orange or nothing it's not golden it's more pinkish it's showing it's her power you know what i mean she's She's more than just the Phoenix. Respect Jean Grey. She can blast apart multiple stars with ease without the Phoenix Force aiding her and all that. I will see you guys later. Respect the X-Men. Respect Jean Grey. <laughs>